Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome to your 18th Bootstrap 3 tutorial and in this video we're going to take a look at some more navbar classes. Woohoo! Alright then guys, so just when you thought you couldn't possibly remember any more classes to do with navigations, I'm going to throw some more at you. So, I hope you've got a decent memory uh, or some patience. The first one I want to show you is the navbar header. Okay, so on a website typically if we just make this larger, in the navigation, sometimes you'd have like a logo or at least a title over here, or maybe over here, wherever you want it, right? Now to do that, what we do is use a navbar header. So we'll just make a simple div and give it a class of navbar header, all right? And then uh, within that, I'm gonna do an anchor tag, href equals forward slash index.html, and I'm going to give this a class of navbar brand, like that. Okay, so the reason I've done an A tag right there is because normally when we have um, a logo or some kind of title in the header here, it would normally uh, go to the index page or the home page when you click it, right? So that's why we add an anchor tag right there. And then we give it a class of navbar brand. And it's navbar brand because normally it's some kind of branding of the company like a logo. Okay, so there's just two classes there you need to remember, navbar header for the div and then navbar brand for the uh, the A tag. So I'm just going to put in some text here. I'm just going to put um, awesome training, very original, I know. In fact, let's do that all in capitals. Let's make it really cool. Awesome training. Now that is awesome. All right, so now when we look at that, that is the kind of link to the home page and if we wanted we could put an image there like a logo instead okay so that's the navbar header now i want to also show you how we can add buttons to the navigation so you know like on some websites you get those buttons on the right over here which say something like register or login or something well we can add those too so what i'm going to do is just come underneath this ul and i'm going to do a button tag like that I'm going to give it a class of BTN. That's that kind of default class that we give it, all buttons. And then I'm going to give it button default as well, just to give it that default styling. And then the last one I want to do is give it a class of navbar hyphen button. And then within here, I'm just going to say register like that. Okay. So if we view this here now, you can see it's got a button. And we can actually float that all the way over to the right. And to do that, what we do is give it another class, oops, there, which is navbar hyphen right. And that's gonna float it all the way over to the right. So if we view in a full screen, it looks something like that. And yet, as we get down to smaller screens, um, it does look a bit ugly. But what we can always do is use our own style.css file or something like that to override these bootstrap styles and we can style it a little bit differently. This just kind of gives us the foundations for a quick responsive website, okay? So um, we can have a couple of buttons if we like. We'll do one for register and one for login. And uh, what I'll do is change this default to, I don't know, primary, just so they look a little bit different and save that. And now we have two buttons. And again, we could use our own styles to give these some margin, etc. In fact, you know, I'll just do that now. What I'll do is go to the register one and I'll do style equals margin left 10 pixels. And you don't want to do this normally, guys. You want to do everything in your CSS sheet if possible. And now we've got a login button and a register button. Pretty cool, yeah? All right, so... That is about all the classes I'm going to give you for these nav bars. But in the next tutorial, we are going to look at what happens when we make our screen smaller. So for mobile, things like that, you can see it kind of stacks one on top of the other there. Um, but what we want to do is make a nice kind of mobile drop down menu. So we're going to take a look at that in the next tutorial. Any questions, feel free to ask those down below. Otherwise, guys, don't forget to subscribe, share, like, and I'll see you in the next one.